All right, tubers, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for logging in. Thank you for your time. And I guess I have to do this with every episode, you guys. Come on, smash it. Smash it, please. Smash it, subscribe, all that. I gotta tell you guys, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. If you guys really want to see what's out there and what's going on in marble collecting world, make sure you hit that subscribe button, folks. Because I'm dropping more uploads in a year with marbles than anybody else on the internet. I challenge you to find one more marble content provider that's dropped more content in one year than this channel. So we're coming up on a year's anniversary here on the channel real soon, guys. So um, I think it's coming up in a few days. So maybe we'll do something special for that. You guys know I've been out after the Masters and Acros lately in Marble Kings. So... This show, I got some wonderful masters, and I'm so excited to open this case and go through them. Because the masters inside this case used to belong to the late, great Ron Shepard. And this case supposedly hasn't been opened or taken apart since Ron put it together. So guys, I'm going to take this glass cover off this morning. And we're going to open this center box. These... Two boxes here, maybe. I might open this one, but we're definitely getting in this one. This one's got some nice marbles in it. So, these are supposed to be original boxes from what I was told, guys. Don't hold me to that. I know this is the internet, and you guys will straighten me out. So, if we drop something wrong here, make sure you get in the comment section and voice your opinion. Because this is America, and everybody's entitled to your opinion. So, guys, that's all this is about here, is people's opinions and what y'all like in the marble world. Look at that. We got some as-made marks on the side of this guy, but I bought it anyways, because these masters are just getting so hard to find. And, um, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. You want to call it damage? I think it's an as-made mark. It could be damage. Or a crack. But it, it's, it looks more so like a fold in the glass or a fracture in the glass when it was made. It is damaged. Anyways, it's not perfect. But I really like that master. Um, this one was from Bob's collection. You can see I left the price on the bag. That got away in my other video and I didn't know where it came from. It came from this stunning master right here. This was the most expensive master I bought at the show today. Minus the set. But as a single master marble, this was the most expensive one I bought. And that's not the out-the-door price. That's the asking price from the vendor. And like I said, the out-the-door price all depends on your down-home dickering skills. So check that out, guys. You know, and I think these are some of the most undervalued marbles in the market. And the reason why I say that is because... You know I pound the pavement out looking for good content for you guys. And I'm here to tell you what. I can find a thousand acros for every master I find out there in the world. So maybe you guys just are not bringing them to the shows. Or maybe there's not enough of you out there collecting up these masters. Or maybe there's just... I don't know. I don't know what the reason is. Maybe you guys don't like them. But every time I do a master's video, it seems to get a lot of response from the community. So... Anyways, I'm glad you guys like them, and I love hearing you guys chime in. And don't ever be afraid to put anything in the comment section, because I've done some really stupid videos. And I don't edit them. I leave them up there for you guys to let you know we're all the same. Everybody makes mistakes. And uh, anybody out there, I've had, I don't know, I had quite a few um, negative Nancys jump on. I, I did my first, I won't call it editing, but I cut a video into three shorts. I did this one long video where I started out about my drawers were a disaster and I had slags and Chrissies and Christiansons and everything all in one, one drawer and we were going to go through them and sort some of them out and do the differences. Well, by the time I edited it and gave you guys two or three little short clips and you didn't hear the whole video, it was a disaster, but I left it up anyways because, you know... It creates content, and some of you won't even chime in for some reason or other. Some of you don't. I never hear, I have a couple viewers that never want to chime in unless they got something negative to bitch about. So if I don't put up something crazy, then those viewers are left out. They don't have anything to complain about. So every once in a while, guys, 
you see a crazy video up there and I post it, I post it because I'm human and just let it roll. So, anyways, here's some masters, guys. We'll get into this. Enough yakking. You've seen those. We're going to pull the pins here out of the case. And I swear to you, I have not been in these marbles whatsoever. So, when I open this box of masters and dump them out, you're going to be seeing them just like me for the first time. But you're going to have a better view because you get to watch them on the TV. And I'm trying to look at them through this little teeny smartphone. I videotape this. So, anyways, guys, this is a pretty rare box. I hardly ever see this box of marbles, ever. And this one here, I hate to say it, guys, it is as nice as they come. Look at that. It's the number 13 box. Ta-da. So, what I've been told is... This used to be the case when I was growing up through the 70s and 80s. This was the most reproduced box ever. And according to Steve Smith, these are supposed to be original boxes from the Ron Shepard collection. Now I have, I already own two more of these boxes here. And this is supposed to be the most repopped fraudulent marble box out there, out of all of them. Now... With that being said, they have a lot of new replica boxes of Acros out. So, I don't know if that's still the case anymore, guys. But look at these. And if you knew how much I paid for these, you would fall off your chair. It was next to nothing. I thought it was such a smoking deal on these marbles, guys. So, anyways... Let's, let's put it this way. That first little pile of marbles that I showed you on top of the glass there, I paid almost as much for those five little individual marbles. I just paid a few more dollars for this whole set with the case than I paid. So imagine it's the 30s or the 40s, and we just came out of the Great Depression. And you're a child, and somebody brings you these awesome, awesome marbles home from the store. Sorry here, guys. We got one big one still hiding out in there. Masters did make a few. Well, one's stuck in the box, guys, and I'm going to show it to you. I don't want to beat on this cardboard box too bad. It looks like it's. A green and white guy. I am fooled by the box. Cameraman just got his butt kicked by a master's box. So anyways, we're going to take a minute and we're going to go through. It looks like I got two more of these awesome sunbursts in here. Master sunbursts. And I'm going to pull this one I got from Bob. And this was a really expensive master. But I want, to, want you guys to see why I paid a premium for this master. Because Bob always brings stellar stuff to the show. So, anyways, you can see a difference between this sunburst and this one, the quality of it. You know, this is a good sunburst here, but nothing like this one here that I got from Bob. You know, that one there is just stellar. That's a stellar master. So, anyways, guys, these, who knows how many years it's been since these guys have seen the light. So, here's some original masters from the Ron Shepard collection, guys. This one's a dark green, which is pretty awesome. I don't think I have too many of these in green and white. It's kind of a interesting master. I've got a lot of them in, in, with the blue and white, you know. But the green, that green is uh, a little different. So, you know, here's some here's some other masters that are they're good looking marbles. But, um... They just don't have the loud lipstick colors that Acro had. And you guys know Master bought Acro out. If you didn't, now you do. So, you know, they might have used a lot of the same glass and everything else. They didn't get the... I don't think they got the actual machines, say, like the spinner cups and things like that from Acro. I heard that a lot of that stuff was destroyed. So, now, see, I would have never guessed that as a Master. But if Ron Shepard put it in here and he says it is, I'm not going to argue because... Ron was the man. If you guys don't know who Ron Shepard was, and maybe you're new to the channel or whatever, go over to Stephen Barr's channel 
And uh, just check out Ron Shepard. He was just a gift of knowledge for our collecting community. So, ooh, look at this one. This is one of my favorites right here. It's got a little green and blue together. I really like these blue and white ones here. Blue and white cobalt ones. And when you can get a third color in there with the green in there. it's it, This is like the Trionics Popeye Sparklers, in my opinion. Some of these masters. How they have this beautiful wispy white in here. So, that's that's one of the things. You can kind of throw some of these masters right along with some of those trionics acros, and you can see where they were using possibly the same glass formulas or something, because there's a lot of similarities between those acro agates in these masters. So, anyways, guys, we're not going to go down that rabbit hole right now. But I hope you guys enjoy this share. And uh, now we got this box emptied out here. I'll bring it over here once again. And let you all have a beautiful look at this perfect box. And like I said, there's still one marble stuck in here. But I'm the one-handed cameraman. And I'm not doing any editing. And I don't want to beat around on this box. Uh, it's all the way to the front. Now we're getting it. Okay, I got it out. The last oversized marble. There it is. That was the one that was stuck in the box. Oh, and it's got some green in it. Look at that. So, this is like, I hear a lot of guys, when they're talking about masters, just call these guys brushed patches. But that's, I don't really know if that's a proper term to call it a brushed patch or not. But, um, I like these masters guys. And I just went after them because, like I said, they are, they are a scarcity out there in the world. So, if you're shopping marbles, and you know you see acro corks all the time, and you have an opportunity to pick up some masters... Me, personally, I would go with the Masters. A lot of you are thinking I'm crazy, but, you know, these Masters, some of these are just awesome rare marbles that you hardly ever see. Okay, I'll show this box here. This one looks like it just has solid game marbles in it. I'm not going to open it up, but we will get it out, and I'll let you guys have a look-see at all four sides of the box. So you can see what it... Maybe there's somebody out there that's trying to freeze frame these videos to figure out how they can steal all my content to repop these boxes. I've actually had people ask me if I can post the flyers and stuff online. They want to make repops of my stuff or whatever. And I'm not about that, guys. I'm not not into the... Uh... Whoa, what happened here? Oh, looky there. It just opened right up. I told you guys I wasn't going to open it, but I didn't realize the box opened like that. So, anyways, here's this one. They're just solid game marbles. Wow, look at that, how that box opens, guys. So, I wonder if that's the difference between the fraudulent and the real boxes, because my fake boxes, I, I think one of them I have is fake. It just opens on the end, not the whole bottom doesn't open on it. So, anyways, I told you guys we would open this one up also, if I can figure out how it opens. Uh-oh, I can't figure it out. It opens on this side. So all three of these boxes open differently. Man, I hate to even open this, guys, because this old cardboard here... Well, I'm going to set you guys down just for a minute, and I'll be right back with you. All for the love of a good, perfect box. All right, guys, we're back. I know I should edit that stuff out, but I'm not that techie. Oh, here we go. Look at those beautiful aqua marbles already. And we've got a couple that are still stuck in the box. Come on out, guys. Okay, now these are some different masters that I'm not used to. These don't look like they're nearly as high quality as some of the other masters. I'm going to guess these are later masters. These aren't the old school masters. These... Or these wouldn't have been the first masters. I'm guessing these would have been more towards the end of their career. Maybe. But I don't know that either. I'm just saying because obviously, folks, to me, these marbles don't look anywhere the quality of this marble or this marble here. So, you know, these master made marbles are way higher quality than these master made marbles in my opinion in my opinion i would pay one dollar for this box and i would pay 
$20 for that box. That wasn't the values. I'm just giving you an example as a collector that these marbles in this box are that much nicer than these. But uh, some of these are beautiful. I'm not going to lie for Masters. Look at that one. I don't, I'm, a, I'm a sucker for a beautiful aqua marble any day. Well, guys... I'm looking down here at the clicker, and we're like at 15 minutes, and this is a pretty long video to go on, so anyways, I can't rebox all this stuff hanging onto the phone, and I am the one-handed cameraman that has put out, I believe we're over 150 videos now, and I haven't edited a single one of them, every one has been live, one take, clip, do it, and post it, so Anyways, guys, for the love of Master Marbles, thank you for logging in. Thank you for watching my skit. Thank you for watching my channel. If you want to hear the whole history on Masters, click over to Stephen Barr's channel and check that out. He'll give you all the dates and details and all that good stuff. And I'm going to share the marbles with you, folks. Later.